Right now we are here at Bhatta Lab and it's a coastal town of Andhra Pradesh and you can see uh, the effect of a cyclone um, uh, Michong. Uh, you can see the sea waves and the, approximately here the wind speed is uh, 100, 100, approximately 80 to 100 kilometers per hour and um, uh, lots and lots of people are uh, having to evacuate from there and the wind speed is uh, so strong that uh, we can't uh, also stand uh, property and uh, you can see the uprooting of trees and the uh, scene of destruction here. Just see the, the sea waves here, uh, so much a strong source of wind is there that uh, constantly that water uh, due to the cyclone it is coming there. We are, <coughs> these are uh, exclusive visuals on CNN News 18 you can see and uh, this is uh, Bapla coastal town, the epic center of cyclone Mishong and uh, uh, this whole uh, scene you can see on CNN News 18 and this is uh, 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 this uh, exact time uh, approximately 11.30 it is expected that this cyclone will hit. So we are here at the spot at the epic center and uh, CNN News 18 is bringing you this exclusive picture of a cyclone Michong. As far as uh, the rescue planner there, uh, the uh, police outpost is there and uh, people have been <coughs> evacuated from here and uh, right now as per prediction whatever things are there it is taking place but uh, uh, the real challenge uh, in front of the rescue agencies or other agencies is the aftermath of this uh, cyclone so after what effect have been taking place they have to analyze uh, they have to analyze first they are waiting they are uh, just seeing the what is the effect and then the teams have been uh, deployed accordingly. At present, in Bapla, in Andhra Pradesh, approximately 12 NDRF teams are stationed. Ap apart from that, SDRF and other people are there who are stationed there. So, this is here, the all action is happening and uh, these exclusive visuals we are bringing to you uh, right now from this very much epic center of Cyclone Wichong. Massive arrangements have been made and uh, uh, those people have been uh, evacuated to the safer areas. Approximately eight to 10,000 people have been evacuated to the safer areas with the coordination of the, uh, all the agencies. Now, Home Minister <coughs> Amit Shah, he himself has uh, talked to the uh, state chief minister and accordingly all the agencies are put in place. So we can see <coughs> all this action is happening here. And uh, here is that Bapala, uh, Surya Lanka beach from where the people are there right now you can see the waves and from that wave you can very well estimate and you can very well imagine that what is that huge intensity of cyclone is there multi-layer uh, agencies are working here for rescue operation for evacuation for relief material for all sort of things and uh, by the virtue of uh, those pictures i'm explaining you you can see just behind these are the people from our uh, state police by up from where are you coming Duty, summer duty. Acha, aap ka state police hai, NDRF se hai. NDRF nahi, the local police. Local police. Aap ki kya duty hai? Summer, gajat kaalu, summers. Okay, these are the special swimmers which has been deployed from the local authorities in coordination with the state authorities, so that anybody who is drowned from this uh, flood, so they are into action and uh, with the help of these people, those precious lives can be saved. That is one thing. Second thing is that NDRF team is also stationed here. Third thing, SDRF state disaster relief force. It is also stationed there. Air Force team is also there. So multi-layer uh, rescue teams and safety teams are there. And uh, all the concerned agencies are leaving no stone unturned to prevent uh, disaster after effects of this cyclone. Cyclone Mikjong is all set to hit the coastal area of Andhra Pradesh today. Talk more on the same. We are currently in conversation with the DG of IMD, Dr. Mrityanjay Mahapatra, so thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, tell us as to what exactly is current status of the cyclone Mikjong. Yeah. At present, at 9.30 hours IST, the severe cyclone storm Mikjong is situated over west central Bay of Bengal, very close to Andhra Pradesh coast. As you can see, the first red dot, that is the current center of the cyclone. It is about 35 kilometers southeast of Ongol, that is headquarter of Prakasham district. So this, this green patch which we are seeing, this is the impacted area, affected area, so to say? No. The red line, what you see, that is the most probable track or the path of the cyclone for the next 24 hours. And we are expecting that around noon today, 
the center of the cyclone will hit the land, that is landfall will take place. But already the part of the wall cloud region where maximum wind and maximum rainfall occurs, that is lying over the land. So this process will continue and in the afternoon when system will be over the land, it will start weakening. And by midnight, the cyclone will be converted into a deep depression. The wind speed at which it is moving now is uh, about 90 to 100 kilometers per hour. And this wind speed has the capacity to make large scale damage to thatched houses, mud houses, um, loose tin structures or other structures, etc., hoardings, etc., may be detached and may be thrown as a projectile. It can lead to uprooting of trees and breaking of tree branches. There could be bending of telephone poles and electric poles. We are also expecting heavy to extremely heavy rainfall over the coastal districts of Andhra Pradesh, starting from Nellore up to West Godavari, East Godavari, and Krishna district. In these uh, districts, uh, because of this heavy rainfall, there could be the flooding of low-lying areas, inundations. Also, we are expecting 1 to 1.5 meter height of tidal waves inundating the low-lying areas, especially uh, Bapatla and Krishna districts. And the combination of this rainfall and the tidal wave will lead to the enhanced inundation in these coastal areas. So all these three, heavy rainfall, wind, and storm surge are occurring simultaneously. So it is a multi-hazard scenario. So people should remain safe in safe place, they should not go out. And also the transport should be regulated. The railways have been regulated. The air airports also needs to be regulated. The sea condition, if you just look at present, is high to very high, that is very high tidal waves. Therefore, the shipping operations to be suspended completely till tomorrow morning. The ships into this area should not venture. Fishermen should not venture into sea. A total suspension of fishing operation also has been highlighted and requested. The onshore and offshore industries are also there in this region, especially there is KG Basin. So therefore we have advised the onshore and offshore operators also to regulate their activity uh, till sixth morning. So uh, also since you have said that after midnight the impact will be weakened of the cyclone McJong. So can we say that some rains are expected post midnight as well if we talk about tomorrow or day after tomorrow. What is your prediction sir? Yeah. As for our prediction, after landfall also, rainfall will continue and wind speed will gradually decrease. By midnight, wind speed over north coastal, north -east coastal Andhra Pradesh and adjacent areas will be 50 to 60 kilometers per hour. By tomorrow morning, wind speed will further decrease, it will be 40 to 50 kilometers per hour over the north coastal Andhra Pradesh area and adjoining. The rainfall intensity will decrease, but still heavy to very heavy rainfall we can expect uh, uh, till sixth morning. After that, wind speed, uh, after that, rainfall will decrease. Isolated heavy rainfall, we can expect north coast on the south Odisha, south Chhattisgarh on sixth. So also, uh, can you also tell us as to what causes the formation of the cyclone and why exactly it is hitting the coastal area of Andhra Pradesh only, sir? No, cyclone develops in two seasons. One is April to June, other one is October to December. Whenever atmospheric conditions and oceanic conditions become favorable, a cyclone can develop. So this was favorable in this part of the time and therefore it has developed. Usually we get around three cyclones during post-monsoon season and uh, this system is not anything abnormal from the climatological behavior. And if you compare the different coastal lines, Andhra Pradesh and Odisha experience maximum number of cyclones. So therefore we can expect uh, and it is uh, in the expected line. So thank you so much for speaking to CNN News 18. So this was DG IMD Mrityanjay Mahapatra who was clearly telling us that the impact of the cyclone McJong will be majorly seen during the afternoon but after midnight the impact of the same will be weakened and from tomorrow onwards we can expect some respite for the people particularly those who are residing in the coastal areas of the Andhra Pradesh state.